Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Man. And today we will understand how to run decision tree using learner operator in Nine. But before that, let's try to understand what is a decision tree. A decision tree is a supervised learning algorithm used for classification and regression tasks. It splits the data into subsets based on the features of the data set and creates a tree-like structure of decisions to predict the target variable. It is a tree-like model that is constructed by recursively splitting the data set into smaller and smaller subsets based on the most significant features that discriminate between the different classes or values of the target variable. The decision tree consists of nodes, edges, and leaves. The nodes represent the decision rules or test on input features. The edges represent the possible outcomes or values of the test. And the leaves represent the predicted class or the value of the target variable. The construction of the decision tree begins by selecting the most informative feature that best splits the data set into subsets that are most homogeneous with respect to the target variable. The process is repeated recursively for each subset until a stopping criterion is met, such as predefined depth or a minimum number of samples per leaf. Just we will take a very small example where our variables are outlook, temperature, humidity, and windy. And our target variable is John will play the tennis, yes or no. So if it is sunny, the temperature is hot, humidity is high, and it is windy. It is not windy, false. John does not play the tennis. Similarly, if it is overcast, hot, high, and it is not windy, John plays the tennis. So the first split is based on outlook. If outlook is sunny, we need to further split on humidity and temperature. Humidity and uh, windy. If outlook is overcast, we can directly predict. Yes, you can see in overcast, uh, irre uh, irrelevant of temperature or humidity, John plays a tennis. For sunny outlook, if humidity is high, we predict no. If humidity is normal and windy, prediction is yes. So on this, uh, you can see on this decision rules, we make the decision tree. So the outlook is divided into sunny, overcast, and rain. So if it is our, our overcast, yes, John plays the tennis. So this is your root node and this is your decision node. If it is sunny, we have to check for humidity. If the humidity is high, John does not play the tennis. If humidity is normal, John plays the tennis. If it is rain, and if it is windy, the winds are strong, does not play. The tennis, if it is weak, yes. So this is your terminal node. Now there are some criterions which we will have to consider while running the decision tree and the first one is splitting criteria. This is based on the information. What information we are seeking for? We are having the variables outlook, temperature, humidity, windy. Now the target variable is yes and no. So we want to know that which variable is having the maximum information of the target variable in terms of splitting yes and no. So that is decided on the basis of any index, information gain and gain ratio. The maximum depth, 100 is divided into first, first depth, 70 and 30. 70 is again divided into, into 40 and 20 in the second depth, 1, 2. So this is a maximum depth of the decision tree. If you set to the higher value, the tree can become more and more complex, but it can also overfit the data. Minimum number of samples per lay. If it's specified, it is also known as a minimum bucket size. In this decision tree, we have specified the minimum bucket size as 30. So what is the, well, so what will happen is 40, this is possible. 30, this leaf is also possible, but this leaf is not possible as a minimum the bucket size is 30. So the minimum number of samples required to create a leaf node. The option, the option helps to control the complexity of the tree and avoid overfitting. Next comes the pruning strategy. The available options are no pruning, reduce error pruning, and cost complexity pruning. Now, how we will run this? Let's see in 9. So, first of all, I will activate input output from here. I will browse the data set. My data set is hard one. 
click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. Our target variable is hard disk. Just like John will play the tennis. Yes or no? Here, hard disk is yes or no. This is our target variable. We want to classify or rather we want to create the decision tree based on age, gender, chest, pain type. So here we are having ATA, NAP, ASY, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, maximum hours of exercise, exercise angina, old pick, ST slope. Now I will activate the column filter from here. I will right click on it and configure. Let's say we will remove one of the variable. Uh, in file table, let us see this fasting blood sugar we will remove. We don't want to include fasting blood sugar. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now activate the color manager from here. Right click on it. Configure. Our target variable is heart disease. Uh, if you keep the target variable as continuous, it will specify that what is the mean and maximum you want to keep. But here it is heart disease. Let us change the color. For yes, it will is a green color and for no, it is red color. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now, execu uh, now activate the learner operator. For decision tree, right click on it and configure. Our target variable is heart disease. Uh, the information uh, criterion which we will consider is either it can be gain ratio or Gini index. This we have already discussed this one. I am talking about this part, splitting criterion. So two are available, Gini index and gain ratio are available in nine. Okay, next thing which is there which we have to consider is quality measure, uh, sorry, pruning method. So MDL, no pruning, we will keep no pruning. Minimum number of records per node, 2. Number of threads, 8. Everything else remains same. Click OK, right click on it and execute. Now here you will not get an equation like logistic regression or linear regression, but definitely you will get some meaningful thing. Right click on it and view the decision tree. So there are two. The first one is simple one. So directly you will come to know it's it's a bird's eye view that which is the which is the criterion to be considered first that a person will have a heart disease or not. It is based on ST slope. So uh, out of 918 observations, 508 cases are there such that the patient is having a heart disease. Out of this. Uh, 918. In first case, when the slope is up, 395 are such cases in which 317 patients did not had any heart disease. Out of 460, in case of flat slope, out of 460, 381 had the heart disease. And 63, uh, out of 63, 49 had the heart disease in down slope. Now, further, you can again divide this. Say for example, flat. So is it dependent on male and female? No, it's not dependent. Let us talk about this one. It is, is it dependent on chest pain type? Yes, it is dependent on chest pain type. There are 46 such cases in which 40, you know, 42 patients were having the heart disease. So this is a bird's eye view. If you want to do the detail, instead of simple, go in view, decision tree view. It will give you maximum information now. So out of 980, 508 patients were having the heart disease. We first considered straight slope as it was having maximum information for yes and no. So uh, in the first case where the slope was straight, 395 uh, observations are there out of which 317 were having the heart disease. So 80.3 percentage. Sorry, 80.3% did not have heart, heart disease. Kindly excuse, 80.3% did not have heart disease, which you can see from the bar chart also, red is for no. Similarly here, 
you, uh, you see, out of 460 cases, 381 had the heart disease. So 82.8% probability is there or rather 82.8 percentage uh, cases were having the heart disease. Here out of 63, 49 had the heart disease. Now let's split again this flat into two parts, male and female. Is it dependent on that? No, it's not dependent on that. Uh, in both scenario, it is yes and that, yes. In case of down, so if the slope is straight, if it is down, and if it is 88, so three such cases are there out of which two did not have the heart disease. Ten were such cases in which five did not have the heart disease. But in case of ASI, 46 uh, cases are there out of which 42 had a heart disease. So uh, uh, ST slope down and ASY, if it is there, then 91.3%. Uh, chances are there that the patient is having the heart disease. So this is a way you can run the decision tree in NINE. For more videos on NINE, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on NINE.